Hello, my name is Debbie. I'd like to welcome you to today's lesson. It is on the order of operations. If you look at the screen and that some that's on the screen confuses you or you're not sure what to do, I'd like you to stay with me so that we, I can help you to understand this section of the work a bit better. If you look at this, you've probably come across the word BODMAS. Now, BODMAS is just a fancy word or an acronym for a way of remembering the order of operations. The B is for brackets, the O is for of, D is for division, and then M is multiplication, A is ad addition, and the S is lastly for subtraction. Now, if you have to look at that BODMAS uh, acronym, the B is for the brackets, as I said earlier, and if you look at this first sum, you always have to do the uh, brackets first, because in BODMAS, the B is first, so 3 plus 7 in brackets minus 2, 3 plus 7 you have to do first, so you get an answer of 10, and then you subtract the 2. So 10 minus 2 is 8. If we look at the second one, we've got in brackets again, 5 minus 2, but there's an exponent or a squared sign outside the bracket, and then times 3. Now if you look at the rule that I've put on the side here, it says the power or exponent is part of the bracket. First do what's inside, and then use the power. So if we look at the sum again, 5 minus 2 to the power 2, you first do what's inside the bracket. So 5 minus 2, we get an answer of 3. Then we square it and we'll get 9. Then times 3, you just bring down until we're ready to use it. But you first have to do everything that's inside, square it, get the 9, and then we multiply by 3 and get 27. After solving the brackets, we look if there's anything with the word of in it. If there's a sum, if you look here, if there is an of in the sum, then we use the multiplication sign on your calculator. So instead of the of over here, where it says half of 50, we're going to say half times 50 on the calculator, because there's no of button on the calculator. And half of 50 is 25. That's an easy one, but just to make, for you to make sure that you know that of means multiplication. Example 4 says 10% of 100. So 10% we can write as 10 over 100 if you've got the fraction, but, uh, fraction feature on your calculator, or you can convert it to 0, 1. But in, you have to still put a multiplication sign instead of the of. So 10% of 100 is 10 rand. After we've solved the brackets and the of, then we can do division. So look at this example 5. It says 20 minus 5 in brackets divided by 3. You have to do, because BODMAS says do brackets first, we have to do the bracket first. So we're going to say 20 minus 5 is 15, and then we divide by 3. With BODMAS, um, after the division, we get multiplication. Now, when we get a sum, when there is division and multiplication, and they're the only operations in the same sum, we work from left to right. Now, I'm going to show you two examples so that, to illustrate this. Example 6 says 10 divided by 5 times 3. If we divide by 5 and, um, and multiply by 3, now that is the same as the order here at the top where it says division and multiplication. So we don't have to worry about it, but the rule applies always. 10 divided by 5, we get 2, and then we multiply by 3, we get 6. The next example, you'll see the multiplication is before the division. That's in the opposite order of bod mass. But if we look at this rule here, when division and multiplication are the only operations in the sum. There's no, there are no brackets, there's no of, there's no addition or subtraction, only division and multiplication. Then you work from left to right. So we say 5 times 4 is 20, bring down the division by 2, and then we get an answer of 10. After multiplication, we have to do addition. So let's see. Here we've got a sum, 2 times 2, in brackets, squared, plus 9. Remember, BODMAS says brackets first. If they're brackets, we have to do them first. And you do what's inside the bracket before you square. So 2 times 2, 4. And then you square it, 4, four times 4 is 16. Bring down the 9 every time. 16 plus 9, we're only doing the addition at the end, is 25. 
Lastly, at the end, you have to do subtraction. So subtraction is one of the last operations we usually do. And here we've got 25 minus, and then in brackets again, 2 times 2 to the power of 2, or squared, plus 9. 25 minus, what we're going to do, we're first going to do inside the bracket, then we're going to square it. So we work out the bracket, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 squared is 16, bring down the 9, and only in this line can we look at now what we have to do. 25 minus 16 plus 9, but when addition and subtraction are the only operations in the same sum, only add subtraction and addition together, we work from left to right. So now, even although subtraction is before the addition, the rule is the same as when we have division and multiplication as the only two operations in the sum. When addition and subtraction are the only two operations, we work from left to right. So we say 25 minus 16 is 9, plus that 9, and we get 18. Don't forget this rule. It can sometimes be easy to forget it. All right. <clears throat> Now let's look at a couple of sums just to test whether you've um, managed to master these two these um, rules of um, bod mass. Yeah, we've got a sum where it says 6 plus 9 divided by 3 in brackets minus 4 times 2. So what we first do is we look at the bracket because bod mass is brackets first and we have to do addition or division first. If we look here, it's division first. So we say 9 divided by 3 is 3, 6 plus 3, and we get an answer of 9 over here. We bring down this 4 times 2 every time. And now we've got subtraction and multiplication. Subtraction multiplication is before the subtraction. So we're going to say 4 times 2 is 8. Then we subtract and we get 1. The next one, 50 minus 3 times 2 in brackets squared divided by 6. 3 times 2 is our bracket, so we must do that first. And we, 3 times 2 is 6, and then we square it, so we get 6 squared, and here we get 36. The 50 just gets brought down every time, the 6 gets brought down every time, and now we've got a subtraction and a division in the same line, so let's look here. Division comes before subtraction, so we're first going to divide. 36 divided by 6 gives you 6, and now we subtract. 50 minus 6 is 44. Now, this is the last sum I'm going to show you, and I want you to pay careful attention because this is something that you will almost have a 100% chance of getting in your prelims and your finals and in some tests during the year. So if you look here, Tepo bakes bread for a living and has written the following formula to help him calculate his costs. His costs, uh, fixed costs come to 50 rand, and it costs him 7 rand per loaf of bread to make. Calculate Tsepo's costs when make, baking 5 loaves using the following formula. Now you might get asked to write this formula, but let's pretend you were given it. Total cost equals 50 rand plus, then a bracket, 7 times 5 um, loaves of bread. Remember bod mass, you never forget about bod mass. Whether you're in grade 3 or in matric or at varsity, you always use bod mass. So bod mass says brackets first. 7 times 5 is 35, then you do addition, and 50 plus 35 is 85 rand. So his total cost for making the bread is 85 rand. Now, the answer to the sum at the beginning of the presentation is 25. I'd like you to go back to the beginning and see if you can get the same answer. If you can, well done. If you can't, I'd like you to go through the presentation again just to make sure. Good luck.